Hello everyone, welcome to 1111 Butterfly Effect. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit, the Oracles, and I here at the table for this daily drop, Messages in the Music. Yes, people, there are messages in the music, and there's music in the messages. So please, I invite you to sit back, grab uh, your drink, coffee, or tea, and let us see what the oracles in my divine spirit reveal for this daily drop messages in the music. For you, you and the person you're thinking of, you and your journey, yes, you twin flames, you soulmates, you divine souls, this message is for you. This message in the music is for you. Ah, where do I start? Where do I begin, right? Well, let's begin at the beginning. <laughs> That's the best place to start, right? At the beginning. And uh, the beginning of this daily drop messages in the music um, is, you know, it's when the bell tolls. This is our theme right now is about when the bell tolls, right? When the bell, when you hear the bell ring, Right. I love bells. Um, my bell fascination um, was handed down to me by my grandmother, my paternal grandmother, who was psychic, was uh, very psychic, was um, an herbalist. Um, she used to cure, cure our ales with herbs and weeds out in the yard. <laughs> she used to cure my sister's warts with pennies. Yeah, and uh, I remember I got a boil. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is a little bit TMI, but I remember when I was a kid and I got a boil and my grandma told my mother to put bacon, <laughs> bacon on the boil and it cured the boil. Didn't have to go to the doctor or anything like that, right? So that's, that's uh, you know, one side of the family history of, you know, being a clairvoyant, a mystic, a psychic, uh, a medicine woman. You know, my grandmother basically was considered a medicine woman, and she was part American Indian. Dare I digress, um, she was the one who handed me down the bell uh, intrigue, the bell interest, and it's about sound. She knew something. My grandmother knew things, and this is all about sound, okay? And also, bells are a way to contact, you know, the other side to contact your divine connection, your spirit guides, your ancestors, your loved ones who've passed on. Bells are like uh, uh, knocking on the door, so to speak. But it's sound. It's through the sound, the tone, which is a vibration. So we connect with divine and with each other through vibrations. Are we walk around this planet vibrating at a certain tone, a certain frequency? And the higher up we go in enlightenment and ascension, those frequencies, that vibration changes and you actually become tuned in to higher frequencies and tones and low frequencies and tones. That's why you may be experiencing some ascension symptoms like ringing in your ears or hearing sounds that don't seem to be there, right? You're super sensitive. And, you know, that kind of coincides with this message in the music today that, you know, sound is a vibration and we vibrate. 
at a frequency, which is sound. Sound is a frequency. So music, what the music we like and the music that's good for our bodies is the music that is vibrating with our frequency. So if your taste in music is changing, that would be something interesting for you to comment about. If uh, you've discovered different music that you find appealing now that you never really found appealing before, like maybe you never liked classical music and now you like classical classical music. Maybe you, you never really, you know, dug on some good country music, but, you know, country music is changing these days, so they're vibrating at a new frequency. Music is a language. Sound is a language. Yeah. And we are a part of that language. And how, you know, we vibrate and mix with each other is really important. That's why some people are leaving our lives. It's because our vibrations are no longer mixing with their vibrations. And that's why other new people are coming into our lives. Because our new vibration, our new vibrating frequency as we level up in, our, in ascension and enlightenment down our yellow brick road, through, you know, navigating our twin flame journey, that's why people come and go in our lives. It's all about frequency and vibration. And music can raise your vibration or lower your vibration. So it's really important to pay attention to the music you're listening to. And at what frequency? Because the music industry, you know, and I know a little bit about the music industry because I am a certified sound audio, video, post-production engineer. That's what I actually studied. <laughs> really zeroed in on. But do I do that for a living now? No. No. It's just something I have experience in at this point um, and knowledge in the field of sound. And it really can matter. The frequencies and sounds you're exposing yourself to matter. It's just like the uh, Dr. Emoto water research experiment, okay? And how water uh, is affected by good sounds and bad sounds. Good vibrations, negative. Positive vibrations, negative vibrations. Positive uh you know, words and negative words and so on. I'm sure most of you are familiar with Dr. Emoto's water experiment. Well, we are made up of like 75% water on the majority. I mean, that's like our brain is like so much water. Our body percentage of water is high between 75 and 90 something percent dependent on the organ and the anatomy but we're not talking about anatomy we're talking about sound and frequency and vibration and how music and you go together and what music you listen to will either raise you up or lower you down so let's see if we're going to raise ourselves up with this message in the music right here in this daily drop, for you out there listening, for you twin flames and soulmates, you divine souls, this message is for you. Message in the music. And indeed, there's music in the messages. So, kind of change things up a little bit because I have my other playlist decks out now um, on the table. Still working on the other three. And uh, these do take some time because they're double-sided with the numerology uh, divination included in it. So what we're doing now is we're going to do pull a song for the Divine Journey, the Divine Feminine, and the Divine Masculine. So we're going to actually, the pink is the feminine, and the green is the Divine Masculine, and the Journey 
is the blue. So we want to pull hopefully at least one song. We really only want one from each pile, and then we'll go over them, see what kind of messages divine and the oracles want you to receive your guys and angels and messengers and uh, we'll go from there so do a little shuffling for the divine connection get some messages in the music yes let the music play there's so many songs that are written about music too I mean I could go through I could probably write a whole entire poem or sonnet just using songs with the word music in the title right like let the music play music yeah Madonna's music I love that song it's, it's good Anyway, all music credits will be in the description box below the title of this video, along with any other pertinent information about this message in the Music Daily Drop. So if there's something you missed or want to go to, um, check out that description box. Thank you, my divine spirit. Thank you, Music or Oracles. Please offer us up your guidance and wisdom through messages in the music. We don't want them to fall on the floor. We want them to fall on the table, please. One card, please. Offers up some messages in the music for this, the, the divine journey for those out there listening. One card, please, for messages in the music. That's like way too many. We may start pulling these cards because, uh, all right, there we go. Anything else? No. Okay. Divine Feminine. Thank you, my Divine Spirit. Thank you, Music Oracles. Drop us some car a card for the Divine Feminine. Messages in the music. One card, please. For this message in the music. Daily drop. There we go. Now for the Divine Masculine. Interesting, interesting. What's already coming out on the table? Wow. This is for the Divine Masculine. Songs. These songs are either what you want to say to your Divine Partner or what your Divine Partner is saying to you. So take it how it resonates for you. Switch them around. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. But the Divine Journey, we're going to stick with that one, okay? Here we go. For this, Messages in the Music, Daily Drop. Are you listening? <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. So for the journey, for your divine journey, we have <laughs> Silent Running by Mike and the Mechanics. Interesting song, this Silent Running is. <clears throat> Definitely, if you don't want to listen to or watch the video or listen to the audio, just read the lyrics. Because indeed, the message is in the music and not necessarily in the melody or... Uh, it could be in the title, it could be in Silent Running, uh, it could be in the artist name. But it's what resonates for you. And Silent Running, we're talking about lack attack. So... For some of you on this journey, there is and has been some silent running going on. Running from the journey, running from your higher self, running from the connection, your connection with divine, your divine partner. But we have a 22 here. And that's a master number. That's master builder. Okay? So the silent running and this lack attack may be over for all sense of purposes this 22 is telling me that something is being built so read the lyrics listen to the song watch a video on youtube <clears throat> and see if anything resonates for you regarding the journey <clears throat> excuse me regarding the journey silent running and lack attack 
You know, you need to get out of this thinking, thinking, and the, the thoughts of lack mentality. So if you're stuck and you're feeling lack, like you're not enough, or this is too much, or, 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 leave it behind. Run from it, in fact. Leave it behind. Your abundance is not in lack. For the Divine Feminine. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is all making sense now. So, this may be about the Divine Masculine. Okay? The journey. And the silent running coming to an end. For the Divine Feminine, what the Divine Feminine wants to say to the Divine Masculine or the other way around. Take it how it resonates. Hang on there, baby, by Johnny Bristol. Another great song. Interesting. Hang on there. Hang on in there, baby. Excuse me. Hang on in there, baby, by Johnny Bristol. And the number is 78. Okay. And that breaks down to a 15, which breaks down to a 6, which is my love number. Love, family, and home. And on the back end, the back message is, the backside message is, you got to have faith, faith, faith. Yeah, George Michael. You got to have faith. Both, divine feminine, divine masculine. Both of you have to have faith in this journey. And hang on in there. Okay? And Divine Masculine. <laughs> Woo! Head over heels by Tears for Fears. Yeah, I'm head over heels for you, Divine Feminine. So this is what the Divine Masculine wants the Divine Feminine to know. So, the Divine Feminine wants the Divine Masculine to know, hang on in there, baby. Okay? The running and the lack is over. So, something is being built here with the 22. Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine, hang on in there, baby. Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine, I'm head over heels for you. Tears for fears. And that's 118. And 118 breaks down to a 10, which is a completion, which breaks down to a 1, which is new beginning. So the divine masculine is completing some tests, tasks, cycles, ending cycles, moving away from that which no longer serves them and moving forward toward their, toward what they're head over heels for. And on the back side, instant attraction. Wow. Okay. Love at first sight, maybe? For some of you, yeah, the Divine Masculine, for some of you, the moment that they really see you, maybe not the first time they see you, but from the moment they really see you, it's instant attraction. They're head over heels for you. Yeah, 10, right? 118 breaks down to a 10, which breaks down to a 1. So hang on in there, babies, Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines, because this one's for you. Yeah, get it? This bud's for you? Well, this one is for you. Beautiful, indeed. Silent Running by Mike and the Mechanics. Hang on in there, baby, by Johnny Bristol. And Head Over Heels by Tears for Fears. Those music credits will be in the description box if you uh, need to, you know, refer back to them. And just know that the lack attack is gone. It's over with. No more. You got to have faith in this instant attraction. And it will bloom. Yeah. So that's it. That's it for our daily drop. Messages in the music. I hope you are resonating with this. If you do, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because that puts your energy into this channel allowing your messages, signs, synchronicities, guidance, direction, and wisdom comes through for you. And know that there are messages in the music and there's music in the messages, always. 
And if you want to vibe high, if you want to level up, listen to some good, positive music. Don't listen to that sad sack stuff, huh? So, just know that when the bell tolls, things are going to roll. So, on that note, take it easy. Take good care. Stay aware out there. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.